should be able to see the wisps of smoke there leaking from the door. So now that is caused because my latch is too loose. See I got a bit of a give. That bottom latch down here is a little loose. Okay, so now I'm gonna squeeze it. Now let go of it. And squeeze it. And let go of it. So tomorrow I need to adjust that roller. The roller here is bolted up inside and it's in a slot so I can loosen it and slide that roller further in and that would make it tighter. So I can do that tomorrow. So it's uh, later on the next day, uh, later being like you know nine o'clock at night. Um, this is the the bolt, the uh, locking bolt. It's just a kind of a washery, swivelly thing. Uh, a little wheel there, and then the bolt. You can see that it's slotted. There's lots of room for it to travel that direction, which is going to make the lock tighter because the hook switches uh, swings around behind that roller. So the further in towards the boiler I go it's going to make it tighter so I'm going to loosen it and judging by the space I have here I know how much I can move it I'll move it maybe uh, I'll try half the distance so I'll close up that gap so it's half as much gap and uh, we'll see if I can if it's too tight then I'll have to loosen it to maybe only a third so I'll give that a whirl okay so you can see here's the I've loosened it now and so now it'll slide back and forth that's full out which it wasn't quite it was a little closer than that I think it was about there um, so what I will do is I'll type tighten it let's try about there we'll tighten that up and see if that's going to be work for us. Let's try that. You can see the fire is out, which is good. I don't want all that flame and smoke and all that crap while I'm doing work. So usually the best time is wait till the fire's all out and she's ready for the next load. Well, that feels good. Yeah, it's got a bit of a push to it. Yeah, that snaps down good. I'm good with that. Let's try that out, see how that works. Uh, the only reason it was puffing and smoking last night is I had my propane burner on and I'll put it on again here to start the fire. Um, and because the fan blows, it's a, it's a fan and a blower that blows the propane, uh, the, boy, the burner, the flame, I guess, blows the flame. Um, it's basically pressurizing the inside of here, so smoke's going, you know, 90% of it's going up the chimney, and uh, but it's pressurizing it, so if there is any leakage on the rope seal, and you can see the coloring, um, it's all nice and white there, then you can see right there it starts getting black, right that area here where it was leaking down there this is all good yeah that's all good that's all good but black in that area there because it wasn't tight so that's good I'll give that a whirl well it's a nightly game of Tetris uh, it takes about three wheelbarrow loads uh, to get her full there it's all 22 inch lengths 36 inches wide, 
and the box that's piled up about 30 inches high. Anyway, should last me the day. It is uh, 8 degrees Fahrenheit right now. The boiler is at 155. Let's uh, put her on and uh, get some fire up. Propane side burner, we'll get it running in about 5 or 10 minutes. And she should be good to run for the night. Okay, so she's smoking away. Should be able to hear the propane burner running away here. And here's where it was leaking that door seal. Now, uh, no evidence whatsoever of any leakage there now, so that's good. So, just let the propane kick in to about 160. It'll shut off, the wood will be fire burning by then, and the wood will take over. Well, loaded up the boiler. A little trickle of smoke coming out of her. She's at 181. It's about uh, uh, three degrees Fahrenheit, minus 16 Celsius. What are we down to here? Basically charcoal. A full load of charcoal. Just simmer all night. Perfect. <laughs>